the miners at Nenthead dug impressive vertical shafts for a variety of reasons. Yeah, you wouldn't want to fall into it, would you? But for sheer scale and technological inventiveness, the brewery shaft is outstanding. The shaft system water supply was from a surface reservoir further up the valley above Smallclough Mine. Brewery shaft itself was on the hillside just north of the Nenthead lead processing buildings and above the Rampgill mine level. A prominent steel tower added 90 foot of extra head to the water supply. The tower is now gone and the stone built shed over the shaft has been restored. This looks quite exciting. In the shaft was a hydraulic machine capable of producing energy for electricity generation and also creating a 90 psi compressed air supply. This air was piped huge distances through the mine complex to power the 20th century rock drilling methods that replaced slow and exhausting hand drilling. The shaft is an awe-inspiring place to see and even more so when descended on a rope. About 20 metres down, a huge cable winch is slowly rusting away, perched in a shallow alcove, inaccessible and isolated. The pipes mounted on the sides and crossing the shaft one third the way down are the feeds to the Pulton wheel turbines that drove the air compressors and electricity generators. Well, it's, actually, it's actually a bit hazy, though. it's a bit brisk in there today. So. The bottom is sometimes swathed in its own mist. This is due to the cool and very damp conditions found at its base, which has links to the now inaccessible Nent Force drainage level. The base of the shaft is chaotic. Rotten wood, rust and collapse, little sound. Not much echo. The air compressor that used to be the lungs of the mine rusts in silence. You scramble down the heap and walk ankle deep in water to the first chamber. It is oppressively still. The arched roof is like a cellar and disguises the great depth from the surface. Generators, Pelton wheels, pipes are abandoned and ephemeral. Tools on workbenches lie scattered. The original whitewashed walls, a worker in cap and jacket, all now history. No one will ever come here like that again. Through the archway is the cold water. With hidden hazards, of wreckage and deep sumps. You pass the magnificent water wheel and then on towards the Nent Force level. Dark shaly roofs absorb what little light you have. A roof fall dams the water, a place to turn back. Oh, 
hundred meters between your heels. Um, it's sort of worrying. 